Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan and welcome back to a brand new video on HMSB News where today we are going through the 2019 provisional Moto3 rider lineup to see who will be riding what, who's uh, moving teams, who's joining the class, who's leaving for 2019. Obviously, like I said, this is a provisional lineup just like the Moto2 and also MotoGP and also obviously the brand new Moto E class, which means that uh, between now and March, things can still change. They will be officially locked down in January. However, things can still change. There has been already a big change in Moto3, which we'll get on in a little while. But we'll get straight into it then. We'll start with the Angel Nieto team. So riding the Angel Nieto team for 2019 will be Albert Arenas, the Le Mans and the Phillip Island race winner. He will remain where he is for 2019. And we'll be joined by Real Fernandez, who is a name that uh, obviously we are familiar with. He's done three wildcards throughout 2018, had a really, really good performance. Uh, and and hopefully next year he'll be able to do it full time and be at the front all the time. The best of capital Dubai squad have kept one Messiah, the young Spaniard who uh, obviously joined the Moto3 class as a replacement rider back in Austria in 2017. He will be joined by Andrea Migno, who moves over from the Angel Nieto team for 2019. After signing for the Marinelli Snipers team, they've dropped Makar Yuchenko and put him on a loan to the BOE School Riders RBA team. Uh, now, it's not going to be RBA next year. It's just going to be BOE School Riders. And they've been able to retain Kazuki Mizaki to go alongside the uh, Kazakhstani rider, Makar Yuchenko, who's back on the grid next year. CIP Green Power remain on the grid next year, but we've got two brand new riders. As Darren Binder leaves the Red Bull KTM team to go over to this CIP KTM team, and they will also have Tom Boothamos, who rides the British talent team in the CEV uh, Championship, and he also was the Motorstar Championship just a few years ago in BSB. The Australian Galicia Mark VDS 00 team have been able to retain Alonso Lopez for 2019 after a little bit of late form throughout 2018 has been able to help keep him uh, in that team, and he will be joined by their CEV rider Sergio Garcia, who uh, jumps up into the World Championship full-time next year. For 2019, the Grissini team dropped Del Conquer and bring on Kamaling, and they've also brought Gabriel Rodrigo and Ricardo Rossi. Rodrigo obviously riding for RBA in 2018, whilst Ricardo Rossi is currently doing the business in the Super Stock 600 in the Italian CIV Championship. The Honda Team Asia team have been able to re-sign Kato Toba for 2019, and he'll be joined by Ayagora, which is a name that we are not unfamiliar with. He's done several wildcards throughout 2018 uh, back in Jerez and also in Thailand. And two very good races for Ayagora and he will be joining Toba at Honda in 2019. After securing the Red Bull Rookies Championship, Chan on Chu will remain with the Red Bull KTM IO squad that he races for in the CEV Championship, but this time he will be up into the Moto3. He's wildcarding at Valencia this weekend. He's doing very, very well so far, so it'll be interesting to see what the very young Turkish rider can do in 2019. Leopard have a brand new rider in for 2019 as Ania Bastianini steps up into Moto2, so they've brought over current best the capital Dubai rider Marcos Ramirez who will be joining current Leopard rider and also multi Moto3 podium finisher Lorenzo Dalla Porta. Aaron Canet signs with a brand new team for 2019 as Max Biaggi introduces his CIV Moto3 team over into the World Championship signing the young Spanish rider for his brand new campaign in 2019 as he takes on the top teams in the Moto3 World Championship. The Petronas Sprinter team are able to uh, re-sign Ayumu Sazaki for 2019 as a fast young Japanese rider remains on the grid and he will be joined by Scott John McPhee, which is the first non-Asian rider riding for that Petrona Sprinter team in Moto3 for quite a long time. Obviously, Nicky Tully in Moto2, and now we've got a Scotsman in Moto3. The 2018 runner-up team, Prust LGP, have been able to re-sign Jakob Kornfahl as a Czech rider will remain with their red, white, and blue team for 2019. And will be joined by Philip Salak, who has been doing uh, very well in the Red Bull Rookies Cup throughout 2018. Realia Vinci have been able to take on Vincenti Pan full time for 2019 after obviously replacing Livio Loy uh, at the team throughout 2018 has had very good races since replacing Livio Loy at that team and he'll be back full time in 2019. The 658 Squadra Corsa team remain unchanged for 2019 as they sign the VR46 Academy rider and Italian Nicolo Antonelli and also Tatsuki Suzuki once again for 2019 as they remain under Paolo Simoncelli's wing 
for the next season. One change at the Sky VR46 team as Nicolo Belega steps up into Moto2 with that team and they've also signed Celestino Vietti who has been replacing Nicolo Belega and got a podium in just his second Moto3 World Championship race. He'll be joined by Dennis Foggia for 2019. Marinelli Snipers have dropped the Marinelli Snipers and have taken on Team O. So Team O will be Tony Arbolino and Romano Fanati. Romano Fanati returned back to the team that he was in in Moto2 and Moto3 and they were back alongside Tony Arbolino for 2019. So there we go, that is it. That is your rider lineup for the 2019 Moto3 World Championship. Let us know down in the comments section below. I know if, uh, some of you guys were doing it on the Moto2 and it was really good to see your top 10 predictions, who you think is going to do well, who you think is going to be the big surprise, who you wouldn't uh, expect to be at the front but is. Uh, let us know all down that uh, all that stuff down in the comments below. We'll be making the video on our personal top 10 predictions for all four classes. Moto E obviously in there as well. And uh, yeah, so that'll be good to see what you guys think going into the 2019 season. So that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.